How to Change Compiler in Visual Studio Code If you're working on a C++ project in Visual Studio Code and need to switch compilers, you're in the right place. Let's go through the steps to make this change smoothly. First, you need to understand that Visual Studio Code uses configuration files to manage your project settings. The key file here is ccpppproperties.json, which you can find in the VS Code folder of your project. To change the compiler, you can start by opening the command palette in VS Code. On Windows or Linux, you can do this by pressing Ctrl-Shift-P, and on a Mac, it's just Shift-P. Once the command palette is open, type CC++ Edit Configurations UI and select it. This will open the CC++ Configurations page. Here, you can modify the configuration name, compiler path, and other settings. For example, if you want to use the GCC compiler from MinGWW64, you would set the compiler path to the path of the g++.exe file, typically something like c-n64-minw64-g++.exe. You also need to set the IntelliSense mode to match your compiler, such as Windows GCC-x64 for GCC on Windows. If you prefer to edit the configuration file directly, you can open the ccpppproperties.json file in the VS Code folder. Here's an example of what it might look like. Configurations, name, GCC, include path, workspace folder, slash dot, defines, debug, Unicode, Windows SDK version, 10.22000.ero, compiler path, c slash mss64 slash mingw64 bin g++.exe, C standard, C17, IntelliSense mode, Windows CC sec 64, version 4. This file allows you to customize various settings, including the include paths, defines, and the C standard you're using. If you're switching to a different compiler, such as the Microsoft C compiler, you'll need to update the compiler path accordingly. For instance, it might look something like slash program files 86, Microsoft Visual Studio, slash 2019, slash build tools, slash vtools, msvc 424.28314, bin host x64cl.exe for Microsoft Visual C++. Another important file to consider is tasks.json, especially if you're changing the build process. You can define multiple build tasks in this file, and the default task will be used by the play button in VS Code. To change the default compiler, you can run tasks, configure default build task from the command palette, or modify the tasks.json file directly. In summary, changing the compiler in Visual Studio Code involves editing the ccpppproperties.json file or using the cc++ configuration UI to update the compiler path and other relevant settings. Additionally, you might need to adjust your build tasks in the tasks.json file to ensure everything works smoothly with your new compiler.